Late summer is not the best time to look for true blue flowers because the yard is overrun with the fiery hues of summer. Something magical happens when you intersperse a border of electrifying pinks and seductive oranges with cool splashes of blue. The following late summer additions to any garden or allotment can work wonders. Number 1. Delphiniums While not all delphiniums are blue, those that are recognized for their tall spires of summer blooms in kingfisher, peacock, gentian, and cobalt blue. If you deadhead your delphiniums before they set seed, they will bloom again in the fall. Delphiniums normally bloom for the first time in early summer. Plant them in early spring in full sun and rich, well-drained soil and keep the slugs away. Number two, agapanthus. This attractive, sun-loving perennial is perfect for the milder sections of the country because it blooms all summer long and into fall with clusters of starry flowers on tall, slender branches. Excellent cultivars and types with blue flowers are many, ranging in size from those that fit neatly into a window box to those that require acres of space in a garden. A fantastic option for container gardening Agapanthus thrives in confined spaces with rich, moist soil that drains well. Number 3. Geraniums Many beautiful blue flowering types of hardy geraniums, also known as cranesbills, are available in late summer. These clump-forming herbaceous perennials are the workhorses of many flower beds due to their long flowering periods, rapid growth, adaptability, and apparent indestructibility. Trimming spent stems and leaves on a regular basis can keep everything looking neat and will encourage new blooms to appear. Number four, salvia. Frost-sensitive salvia anemo and salvia caradana are two blue-flowered kinds that will provide a lovely splash of color to the garden in late summer and autumn. The sun-loving, deciduous subshrub, generally known as Russian sage, is not a genuine blue, but it is close enough to be treasured for the thin spires of lavender blue blooms that appear above the aromatic, silver-gray foliage from late summer into fall and are beloved by pollinators. Number 5. Globe Thistle the sun-loving globe thistle is another late summer or early autumn flower garden superstar. It is a hardy perennial that thrives in practically any type of soil except for waterlogged locations. It blooms in late summer, adding structure and glimmer with its characteristic globe-shaped, silver-blue, long-lasting flowers that rise on tall. They are loved by bees and other pollinators and they also look beautiful when arranged in a vase. Number six, Nigella. Nigella, or love in a mist as it is more often known, is another short-lived but easy to grow hardy annual that is perfect for scattering through a sunny border. It is best sowed directly in autumn or early spring. If you plant it in full sun at a soil that drains well but isn't particularly rich, it will likely spread by self-seeding. Number seven, clematis. Late blooming clematis are exceptional because they add their own unique charm to the garden. Provide these tough plants with a shady spot, moist but well-drained soil, and they will thrive. Some of the kinds even thrive when contained within a sizable pot. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.